Okay, in this next video, we are taking a look at uh, kind of introducing the idea of integration by substitution. So the idea is, is we let f of x be an antiderivative of little f. Then we consider the integral of little f of u of x, a composite function, <coughs> and it's attached with that we have u prime of x dx. Well, then our rule says that if f is an antiderivative, then that integral is actually equal to f of u of x. Because you might remember the uh, chain rule when we did the derivative of f of u of x, it would be f prime of u of x times u prime. But because f is an antiderivative, that would be f of u of x right there. And then u prime going along with it. So this is the idea how we do integration by substitution. Um, as an example, consider this integral here. You'll notice here I have the composite function x squared plus 5x to the 8th. And then I have this 2x plus 5 to go with my dx. The 2x plus 5 is the derivative of the stuff inside there. And so because that works, I have the derivative of that that's going to become I can just car carry the integration through and I have x squared plus 9 x squared sorry x squared plus 5x to the 9th sorry I'm a little kids in the background talking to the 9th over 9 plus c and that's how you want to carry through because there's my u u to the 8th so my rule is just add one of the exponent and divide by it and then I have the du So that's the idea behind the process, and let's consider it in another example here. So here we have the integral of 4x minus 6 over x squared minus 3x plus 8 to the third. So the first thing you want to do is recognize your composite function. Recognize what your composite function is. That's this piece right here. And then we look for du, because to be able to carry the integration through, we need the du, uh, the dx part, to be able to match up with du. We'll take the derivative of that. We'd have 2x minus 3 dx. And so now I'm just going to rewrite what I have. So there's my bottom here I'm writing with exponents because eventually we're going to be integrating so we're going to want to use our power rule and then I need a 2x minus 3 to go with my dx and I look at what I have I have that 4x minus 6 but I say well if I factor out a 2 then I'll actually have I wrote 2x plus 3 but it's actually 2x minus 3 there So I have exactly what I need to be able to carry the substitution through. That other 2 now can be pulled out front. So I have just u to the minus 3rd. And then du is replacing that 2x minus 3 dx. So I can take the antiderivative of u to the minus 3rd, add 1 of the exponent, and then divide by it. And then 2 and a negative 2 will cancel out. And so I get negative 1 over u to the second, but u is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 8. Okay. And so that's the process that we use here. So again, the process, we first find u inside the composite function. Take the derivative. Aww. And then just rewriting it so that it's in a more nice form. Grouping the stuff that I have. Excuse me there. So that I have the 2x minus 3 going with my dx. The 2 will factor out. The 2x minus 3 dx becomes du. And I carry the integration through. 
Okay, and that's the process to do integration by substitution.